Welcome to Peace Corps Ecuador landing page. This project was developed by Maria Isabel Hernandez, training support assistant, and Andres Roman, program and training specialist at Peace Corps. In this brief presentation, we will share the objectives of the page, describe our approach and strategy, preview the main features of the landing page, and discuss the challenges we faced. We have three objectives. The first one is to provide a user-friendly centralized platform to allow volunteers, trainees, and staff and easy access to all materials and resources during their service, allow staff members feed the platform, upload documents, create assignments inside of their respective component, and to promote an easy and fast interaction between volunteers, trainees with the staff, but also among each others. Since this project was not a course, we aim to improve the user experience rather than the learner's experience. This is why we have not considered using blended learning. Our approach was to generate a virtual community where trainees and volunteers are able to interact with the staff. Our strategy to design the page was a simple design that makes it easy to find the resources needed, the use of smart buttons to give each area of the post a recognizable identity, provide tools to facilitate navigation and consolidate content from staff in our post in order to centralize it in one page. Now we will have a look at our landing page. The landing page has two main sections, the central section and the block section. From the, la from the block section, uh, we have a welcome video from our country director. Then we have a user guide. Here you will find all the instructions for an ease navigation and also a survey because your comments and your feedback is important. In the central section, we have a representative picture of Ecuador. Then you have an easy access to our social media. We have a welcome word. And below we have, here is where users will have all the information about the post areas. We have identified night, night areas according to the structure of our post. And each area is identified with a smart buttons. If you want to go inside, just you need to click where it says click here. Let's go into the direct hires virtual office. This is a space where trainees and volunteers can interact with the three main authorities from our post. Only with a few clicks, the user can send them an email, send a document or ask for an appointment. For example, here you can ask for an appointment using the scheduler tool. Another section we will take a look at is meet the staff. In this section, you will find information about the members of the staff. Here, you can see a short video and a photograph of the person, and you can also send them an email. To go back, you just need to click on the arrow. And let's take a look at another section, which is programs. In this section, users can have access to the resources of the three programs that are active in Ecuador. For example, the Teaching English as Foreign Language contains a short description of its content and it's divided into subsections. Let's take a look at the pre-departure subsection. Thanks to the landing page, trainees will have access to everything that they need to do and review before arriving to Ecuador. As we can see, users may have access to pre-departure orientation and complete many tasks that are required before they start their training. As this is a big project, we have also faced many challenges. We had to pay close attention to the design of the learning pace in order to create an inclusive space and also easy and engaging for the staff, for the trainees and for the volunteers. Also, we developed many prototypes in order to decide which tools are more suitable with our objectives. Other, another challenge was to consolidate all the information from the different areas and also managing time was an important challenge. We want to thank you very much and we hope you have enjoyed this presentation.